Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a fall and harvest DIY that is incorporating sunflowers. Now, shame on me. This was a DIY request from a subscriber and I did not screenshot the request or the comment and I am so sorry. If you are watching this video and you requested this DIY, please comment down below and I will pin your comment to the top. But as soon as she requested this, I had this vision pop into my head and that really is sometimes how it works with me. So many of you say, does your brain ever turn off? It really doesn't. But sometimes when somebody gives me inspiration or an idea or a theme, this vision will automatically just pop into my head and then I just kind of work around it, building it up and trying to figure out how I can do it with either Dollar Tree items or just do it on a budget. And today's DIY incorporating sunflowers is so stinking awesome. I love the outcome of it and I hope this subscriber does too. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for you today for a fall and harvest DIY incorporating sunflowers. For today's DIY, I will be using this very old plaque that I had in my stash from the Dollar Tree. It was from a couple summers ago. The great thing about Dollar Tree is they always have plaques that are very similar to this shape and size, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding one. I'm gonna remove the embellishment because I don't need it. Then using some Mod Podge, matte, gloss, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put a healthy amount of this over the top of this plaque because you guessed it, I will be covering this plaque with scrapbooking paper. What's great about using scrapbooking paper or even a fabric is that you get different designs for your background easily. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and it kind of switches things up just from the everyday paint that you might use. And did I mention? I'll mention it again. It's easy. So once I've got this completely covered, I'm going to use this scrapbooking paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has scrapbooking paper for, for a dollar. You can't beat that. And the colors of this scrapbooking paper are so fall and harvest and they're me. They're brown and yellows and oranges and creams and it just doesn't get any more fall and harvest than this. For this plaque, I'm not gonna give it a second coat over the top. I'm gonna flip it over and using an X-Acto knife, I'm gonna remove the excess paper. While my plaques are outside drying because it is 103 out, so they are gonna dry in no time outside, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is taking some felt. And would you look at the color of this felt? I am loving this green felt. It's not a solid color. It's kind of that moss green, maybe a pea green. And I feel like this color is gonna go real good with that quilted harvest feel that I'm going for this year. I'm gonna take five pipe cleaners and I'm gonna kind of sandwich it into the felt, folding it over and hot gluing it closed. And I'm gonna do this with five pieces of pipe cleaner. Once I've got all my pipe cleaners good and sandwiched into the felt, I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut right along the edge that I glued the felt together. Just make sure not to cut too close to where the pipe cleaner is because then your felt will open up. You just really wanna get a nice clean edge there. And again, I'm gonna do that to all five pieces of pipe cleaner that I covered with the felt. Now, because I don't wanna ruin my scissors, I'm gonna use some wire cutters to cut that excess pipe cleaner off. Now I'm gonna take just a leaf, and this is from, I think lamb ear is what I'm using actually here. And this was just something that I had in my stash because I'm gonna use it as a template so I can trace it because I need four leaves. Now, looking at what I'm doing here, I see that the piece of felt I have is rather small. So I'm gonna rewind here a second and tell you that you only need one piece of felt. That's gonna cost you 20 to 25 cents. 
not two because I can see that I'm using a scrap piece here. I'm gonna cut these leaves out and again, I need four of these leaves. For this fall DIY, I kinda wanted to go with that country quilted feel. And so to do that, I'm gonna take just a brown Sharpie and I'm gonna just kinda put stitch marks on my leaves and I'm gonna do that to all four of them. I feel like when you add just something as simple as stitch marks, it adds so much character to it. You can see the difference here and it's easy to do. Don't worry about perfection because when you're sewing and stitching, nothing is perfect and I feel like it just adds character and personality to your DIY. When I did this DIY, Dollar Tree didn't really have any sunflowers out, but they do now. I picked up this five pack of, I'm gonna say daisies, but they can pass as sunflowers from Michaels. It says here that they're $3.99. I did not pay that. I think I paid about $2 for them because they were 50% off. When you take them out of the package, they are attached to a wire. You can very easily remove that wire just by cutting it with wire cutters. When you cut this wire off, you wanna get it as close to the base of the flower as you can. But a lot of times when you do that, you'll see that it will detach the center of the front of the flower from, I guess, the flower itself. So an easy remedy to that is just to hit it with some hot glue there, melt that plastic a little bit, and the front of your flower won't come out. Now I'm gonna take these flowers and I am going to hot glue them to my plaque that is now dry, and I'm gonna make a bouquet of flowers with these, I'm gonna call them sunflower daisies. And when I do that, I'm gonna kinda build up from the back and go forward. So I'm gonna start off with two flowers once I place those two flowers, I'm gonna add the green pipe cleaner slash stem. If you don't wanna add the pipe cleaner to this, you don't. I feel like it just kinda puffed up the felt a bit instead of giving it that flat look. I wanted dimension. And so to achieve that dimension, I added the pipe cleaner to the inside. And you can see that it kind of puffs it up, pillows it out a bit, and that was exactly what I was looking for. Once I get the two flowers done in the front, I'm gonna add three to the bottom of these. And for each flower, I'm gonna add a stem. And as I'm adding the stem, I am going to have to cut it down to size because I don't obviously want my stems going beyond the plaque and I want them to look neat and trimmed because we're making a bouquet a fall and harvest bouquet, a country quilted fall and harvest bouquet. To fill in some of the holes, that's where the leaves come in that we added the stitching to. And so I'm gonna place them just in areas where there would be gaps or areas that I feel like I just need to add a bit of leaves to it. Cause why not? It makes it look cute. And because this is a country bouquet, I'm gonna take some twine and I wanna give it the illusion that the base of these stems is tied. And so to do that, I'm gonna just take some twine, about four strands thick. I'm gonna hot glue it around, I guess, right before the base, an inch or two up from the base, just like you see me doing here. And that's gonna give the illusion that these stems are tied together. I feel like outside of a farmhouse DIY, another great time to incorporate twine into a DIY is during the fall and harvest season when you're using those traditional fall colors. I think even when you don't use the traditional colors, twine goes really great with it. Heck, twine goes good with anything. What am I saying? I'm going back to my roots, my twine days, and I am going to finish this bouquet off with one of my twine bows that is several strands thick, and I'm just gonna hot glue it right around where we put the twine to make it look like this bouquet was tied together. And I'm gonna give these tails just a trim here. What I love about this twine is that it's rolled on the spool and so it gives it a nice curved look instead of that straight look. Now taking some of these stickers that, again, I've had these in my stash. These I think are used for a planner, but I loved the colors. I think that this planner sticker here is gonna go perfect with this DIY because every bouquet of flowers needs a tag or a card. And so these colors are gonna go perfect. It's gonna contrast nicely with the background. I'm gonna put a hole in this. I don't seem to have a hole punch on hand, so I'm just gonna use a screwdriver, cause why not? It's gonna get the job done. And voila, we've got a hole in our tag. I 
fed a piece of twine through it and using some hot glue I'm just gonna hot glue it right under the bow and yeah now we've got an adorable tag on our bouquet to finish this tag off I had these stickers also in my stash from the Dollar Tree and I think just to add a thank you sticker or a happy birthday sticker to this would be a really fun addition. And of course, I don't have any sawtooth hangers on hand. Why would I spend money on those when I have twine? So I'm gonna go to my go-to method of adding a hanger to the back of my plaques and just use some twine with knots on the end and put a generous amount of glue over it so that way it is good and sturdy and it's not gonna fall off and voila, we are done. This is one of those DIYs that you could do for somebody's birthday. Instead of buying them flowers, you could make them a bouquet of flowers that they could keep forever. This week, Kayla has uploaded on Thursday, which is today, instead of Wednesday. You need to head on over to her channel and really watch her create this painting this art piece that she did and it's kind of a time-lapsed video it's really cool to see her in her creative mode you can find the link to this video in the description box below this was such a fun piece to make and I really love it when I get inspiration like this from a subscriber when I really least expected it because it was one of those things like I said when she said it it popped into my head I knew exactly what I wanted to do I just needed to figure out how I was going to do it so thank you again to the subscriber who requested this DIY I really hope I hear from you in the comment section because when you requested it I really did put a lot of thought into it and it was something that I wanted to bring to life I hope you all enjoyed today's harvest DIY. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, I know I sound like a broken record, but it really does help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and bye for now.